Hi, I'm Tim Cannon. I have another alcohol stove for you today. This one is of the Groove Stove family. Easier to make, no holes to drill, don't need to stretch any metal. Quicker to make, quicker to prime. I start the same way I start all my stoves. I remove paint from all the parts that are going to show. And on this stove, it's only two parts and they both show. I've shown using a green Scotch-Brite head before in another video, so I've already done part of this one. I'll just do the bottom. Goes pretty quick, especially with a new head. Seconds is all it takes. The next step. This stove primes from an open bowl. So I need to remove the center, the top of the can. I want to leave as much rim as possible intact though. It makes the stove stiffer. So I'll use a utility knife and score down in the lowest part of this groove. And I'm just trying to score a line, not trying to cut through. With a new utility blade, it only takes a couple of revolutions before you start breaking through. And once you do, I then like to use a thin flat bladed screwdriver and some finger levers. I think you get a better cut that way. It's still sharp and jagged in there, so I like to use needle nose pliers to run around the inside and roll back that edge. The next step, like I said, this can or this stove is two parts. The bottom is an inch and an eighth, and the top is two inches. I've shown the Tim Can Jig before in another video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. In another video, I've got uh, I make another alcohol stove using it, and I've got another video showing how to make the Tim Can Jig. So I've got it set for an inch and an eighth. I'll rotate the can against a hook blade that's screwed on the bottom of that block. And that hook blade is going to remove metal from a line around the can. I'm not trying to cut through, I'm not trying to poke a hole in it. I'm just letting the blade remove a little bit of metal in that line. Three or four rotations of the can, and that should be enough. I'll reset the jig for two inches, turn the can upside down, and now I'll score a line for the top. And that should be enough. You may need to find a weak spot to get it started, but once you do, it should unzip like a zipper. Those hook blades really do a good job. Same thing for the bottom. And the middle, discard. No holes to drill, but there are creases or grooves in the stove. Eight grooves around the circumference, and I also need 16 little slits in the bottom. Now, to figure out how to get those evenly spaced, 
I use what Little Bitworks calls a protractor. Strip the paper, size to be a slip fit around the can, tape it together. Remove it from the can, fold it flat, and mark those two creases that you put on the ends, the edges. Now, unfold it, meet those two creases together in the middle, and crease the two new edges, and mark those. Unfold it. And now meet those creases, or to me, meet those marks together, and crease two new edges, and mark them. And do it again for the others. And now I've got eight evenly spaced marks. And if I were to fold them again and meet those marks, I mark new creases. I'll end up with 16 once I go all the way around, which I've already done. I'll put it back over the top of the stove, of the can, push it down to about within a quarter of an inch of the bottom. I'm going to use scissors to cut 16, 16 slits that long. Sixteen slits. With a metal ruler, I now need to make those grooves. So I need eight grooves. I'm going to do it at every other slit. Use the metal ruler against the top of the can. And with my fingers on the inside, I'm going to press and make that groove. And it's going to go up and even dent into the shoulder, which is what I want. I'll skip one snip and go to the next one. And that's where I'll make my next groove, my next crease. And I'll do that all the way around the can. So I'll end up with eight creases for those 16 slips. Those 16 slits, because I used right-handed scissors, they naturally want to fold over this direction. I'm going to fold them a little bit more, just to make it easier to insert this piece in the other uh, part of the can. Makes assembly of the stove easier. And then the easiest way to assemble the two parts, top on the table, put the base over it, and press. Just like that. The counterintuitive step, reach in with your thumb and flatten out those eight creases now that you just made. This stove works on capillary action. The alcohol is going to capillary its way up where those creases are or were. So the less space, the better the capillary action works. And you can see how those skirts now the slits allow the base of that inside of the stove go clear down into the groove in the bottom so 
all the alcohol is going to be sucked up that way. Without those slits, it wouldn't do that. We're done. Next step, burn test.